Jig trailers for your flipping and casting jigs. Welcome on back to the Googie Lab. So the trailer is important. This is what amplifies your jig. It, it makes it more loud or more subtle, uh, but a naked jig, it's just not something you wanna throw. So let's talk about one that's pretty loud, pretty aggressive, and when you're gonna fish that. I'm gonna fish a louder, more aggressive jig trailer, early spring, uh, fish are pretty, getting pretty psyched up, pretty aggressive. Anytime you have warmer water, I like to go more aggressive. Colder water, less aggressive. So one good option is our Guga Baits Rattling Chunk. This thing has a rattle in it. It has a modification of a crack and craw. And it's designed to be put on the back of a jig. So when that water starts warming up in the springtime, I like to go with this. Very easy to rig on. All of these are pretty self-explanatory. Double plastic keepers on our jig, so you don't have to mess with it. Thread that on there. That's on our juicy jig. This is a, this is a casting jig, so you can flip with it, but it's also meant to, to cast around. It sits flat on the bottom as well, so if you wanted to fish this at the base of, of trees, or just on a hard bottom, drag it, fish around docks, it's versatile. Casting jigs are meant to be versatile. So this trailer right here is loud, is aggressive. When this thing is falling, big flapping arms, uh, it's gonna draw an aggressive big strike. Another one is just gonna be our standard crack and crawl. It's got a little bit more meat on the bone with the body. So you can, um, you can bite this off, cut it off to be uh, longer, shorter, just to fit the size jig that you're using. And the way you're gonna rig this is, is similar. I'm just gonna show you exactly how I would do this if I was gonna fish this 3 8 ounce thick jig right here. I would cut this off at that first segment. I'm gonna thread it up, same way I did the chunk. It's a little longer, so you need to Go a little longer on the shank. Push it all the way up so it's gonna push your skirt out even more. Just like spinner baits, just like vibrating jigs, having a skirt flare is important for strike. So I always like to take my trailer, push it all the way up on the skirt and really give it that flare. And when you stop this thing, the skirt will flare out and really look nice. So with the crack and crawl, there's no, there's no rattle, but you still have that aggressive flapping look. Another thing that you wanna do is cut your skirt to match where the action of your trailer starts. So cutting your skirt, removing material will make it fall faster. It will make the skirt flare more intense. But if your skirt is interfering with the action of the arms, you know, your jig's not gonna look that great. You're not gonna get that good good flapping action. So just modify that to where your skirt is right where the base of the arms are and uh, you're gonna be good to go. It's a nice compact, thick jig. Let's go with a more subtle approach now. Let's say the water is really clear or uh, you're in colder water. You know, the things things living in that water are less, uh, well, they're cold-blooded animals, so they're, they're not moving as fast. You need to tone it down a little bit. Bandito Bug becomes my go-to trailer in that situation. And how I like to rig it is I'll go ahead and cut the, the flapping sides off. And then I'll take just a little bit off the nose of the bait. Just like that. And then we'll take this Thread it on, just like we do our others. I always like to take that skirt material, get it out of the way, make sure it's pushed down, and then I'll push it all the way up and make the front of that skirt flare just a little bit more. Then take it right where the, uh, the legs start to have their action, trim it, And that is a beautiful, subtle, compact jig right there, ready to fish for some bass. Are not gonna hit the, the big aggressive action here, 
uh, or the crack and craws, they need something a little bit more subtle. And that's, that's the way to go. So if you look at the profiles of these jigs, we have the crack and craw that hangs out pretty far off the back. Uh, the rattle and chunk, the legs are set up wider, so it's a little bit more compact, and you got the rattle in there. And then with the bandito bug, very subtle, just right off the back, short legs too. So loud, not as loud, subtle. So these are the type trailer profiles I like to go with on my jigs. If you wanna see more tips and tricks, subscribe right here to the Guggen Lab.